Well, Kelly, we just got today's new rate on the 30-year fix from Mortgage News Daily. Take a look. We have crossed over into the fours, 4.02% to be exact. That's a 12 basis point move higher in just one day. Rates don't usually move in double digits day to day. So it's a reaction, of course, to the CPI report and the resulting jump in the yield on the 10-year Treasury. Mortgage rates loosely follow that. So by comparison, the rate is now 122 basis points higher than it was a year ago when it was at 2.8%. That is significant purchasing power lost for home buyers right on the cusp of the spring season. So if you're buying the median price house right now, you'll be paying about $250 a month more than you would have just a year ago. And that's real money, especially given inflation and how much more we're paying for everything else in the monthly budget these days. Kelly. Diana, real quick, I know you've talked about this before. I I don't know if this is going to happen, but if the Fed were to start selling down its mortgage-backed securities more aggressively, what do people say that could do in terms of mortgage rates? Well, just jacking it up more. And they've yeah. already said they will. I mean, it, we look at the reaction today, the 10-year Treasury yield, they loosely follow that, but really mortgage rates depend on that amount of mortgage-backed bonds that are being bought or sold, et cetera. And if the Fed stops buying and dials back on what it holds, Again, yeah. can't say it enough. Very interesting. All right, Diana, we'll leave it there for now. Thank you, our Diana Olick, tracking all that.